Where am I supposed to set up? In the campsite I assigned you. What, what, what's that? I don't read email. You're initialing that you agree to not be a Thanks, Eddie. The expert section of the Oregon BDR is no joke. Skylight Cave. I'd come up here and go hiking. It's kind of nifty. Give it a kiss. What do you think of uh, Dork in the Road first camp out? Okay, we're at the bougiest tent in the campground right now. You can stand up in it. I don't know if you, I have to actually zoom out on my camera to get the whole thing in. He has a bed in here. One of the great things about this campground is there's a, uh, a natural cold spring here. And uh, this time of year, the um, it's spawning season for the beer. I am in Sisters, Oregon right now. Just stopped for a fuel up of the bike and me and we are headed out to what's he calling it dorks in the woods i think it's dork in the roads very first camp out event that he's doing so here we go now that this uh, oregon bdr route exists you see a lot more bikes on the road that's really great to see man that's that's given some serious inspiration for people to get out of the house and get on that saddle and go I love seeing that. Yeah, so I, I think technically right now I'm on the Oregon BDR. According to my Garmin GPS, which isn't always super trustworthy, uh, see the last video, like wherever it shows up up in the top, as reference as to why I was having troubles reading my Garmin. It does actually mess up from time to time, which isn't super great and it kind of screws me up. So that's what we're doing, but I'm going to the campground. So that's where I'm going. Let's turn on my CME lights. I got these uh, Denali D2 lights down on my crash bars. Yeah, they're they're bright, dude. I haven't been out at, at the night yet, the night. I haven't been out, oh my God, take 40. I haven't been out at night yet with them on. That is coming soon though, because I want to put these things to a test. I just have the regular lenses in them. I don't have the, what do they call them? The refractory lenses or whatever. I'm not sure what you call that. Diffu diffusing? No, that's not right. Uh, I will be going out at night to uh, show you guys how bright these can get. More importantly, I, I don't like riding at night too often anyway unless I have to I got them much more to be seen during the daytime and they definitely work that you can definitely see them for sure but look for a uh, Denali electronics review on that pretty soon I've got their uh, sound bomb horn on as well and it's loud as a mofo it's louder than my car here we are yep that is the Ben rig oh Ah, let's go this other way. I thought that would go around. Oh well. Doop de doop. Where am I supposed to set up? In the campsite I assigned you. What what what's that? I don't read email. I guess my camera turned off while I was taking you on a tour of the campground. So we're gonna use the real camera for that. But here we are. This is awesome. I kind of dig this. Home sweet home. Next couple of days. Going for a walk around the campsite. Just to see. I've got everything set up. I've even got the hammock with me this time. Had I brought my underquilt, I actually probably would have slept in the hammock. It's gonna be, out here it gets pretty cold at night, uh, even there in the summertime, so I'm not gonna do that without the underquilt. I'd get a little bit chilly. The way I do my hammock is um, I use tree straps instead of just line. The tree straps are a lot more gentle on the tree bark so it doesn't mess the tree up. The hammock is a Eno uh, two-person hammock. That way you can comfortably sit diagonal in the hammock and not get the banana syndrome, right? And have the pressure on the backs of your knees and things like that. Now I've got my sofa for the weekend since we're gonna be here for four days, you know. I did bring my little, my little fold-out camp table just in case for uh, like my, my coffee table. I will be sharing this campsite with at least one other person, possibly more than that. You know, that's that's fine. That's I, I have no problem with that. But um, 
if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that tables get filled up very fast with crap. <laughs> so I wanted to have my own little space in the mornings for, you know, coffee. This is an awesome campground. Cool little creek that goes right up the middle, just bisects it right up the middle. Yes, I drank enough water today. I had liquid IV mixed in with my hydration pack like I have um, come to do. I was even doing that on the Oregon BDR as well. Just, just didn't drink enough of it and I overexerted myself. But um, yes, I'm doing well. I am fully recovered. I will have lasting effects. My doctor says, if not for the rest of my life, for a very long time. So I will have to be careful from now on. But this weekend, I am being careful. Promise. So how are you feeling so far? I'm legitimately tired because I didn't sleep that much last night, but I'm excited to hang out with a bunch of dudes. Literally, it's all dudes. Like, basically, the way I'm thinking of this is like, you know how we go and hang out in the woods and it's fine and tolerable, you know, because you're mostly tolerable? Like that, but like way better because I'll, it'll be you'll be diluted and there'll be like other cool people here. That was supposed to be an actual interview for his but... I thought we were making videos for you. Also, yes. Oh, well, then I gotta insult you in your own content. Yes, all of this is staying in. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm a man of many vehicles. $3,000 rooftop tent, $80 Harbor Freight hitch carrier. Four, At man. the Dork on the Road when first annual no camp out, we've got right veterans right. back 40 oh, in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah check it out. They're. Good point. Yeah. Good point. If you've never, take, if you've never heard of these guys, no, yeah, you, you need know. to check them out and see all the good that they do for veterans. Oh, it's that awesome, awesome freaking organization. Hi, baby. Yep. How you Get doing? the word out. Thank you. I'm leaving that in. Will you do a reach around? <laughs> yes. I thought that's what we were doing. You can either stay out of the camera or have to stay <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, look at that. I gotta go pee, guys. <laughs> zoom away in. <laughs> we're not burning this. If ever a piece of wood like that was gonna <laughs> show up anywhere, it would have to be this place. There's neighbor Daryl right there. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? That is the largest tent that I have ever seen. Right there. That's the fastest color scheme right there. This is the shiniest wrap I've ever seen. This is the bluest KTM I've ever seen. I didn't sign. Look at that. Oh. Ah. You're initialing that you agree to not be a you're the first one to say I agree. <laughs> Everyone else has been like, I'm not sure I can do that. Put something in a sleeping bag. Thanks, Eddie. Cheers. Cheers. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for bearing with me as I attempt to put this thing together. It's not an event. It's not a rally. We're just here to camp out, have a good time. There's not really much formal stuff going on. Um, I will, like I said, we'll, we'll put together a riding group every morning. Uh, uh, and I think we'll just go north one day and south the other on the BDR because the, it's gorgeous, amazing, really fun riding. And it's some of my favorite places to ride. Uh, important distinction. There are, it's not a guided ride. I am not guiding you. We're all just agreeing to go to the same place. Filming will happen, shockingly, so we're in a public place. You can't really disagree, but also you agreed to come to a YouTuber's thing. So if you didn't know you were going to get filmed, sorry. Um, if you have a problem with that, please feel free to not walk in front of my camera. Good morning. First full day at uh, Dork and the Road Camp Out. Annual number one. Got up and made my coffee and... Now just out enjoying this beautiful morning. I even brought my hiking boots this time. I'm going to take advantage of some of the uh, walking trails that are around here as well when I'm not riding. It's just a, a loosely organized ride. Um, and it sounds like we're going to head south on the Oregon BDR from here. And uh, go check out Three Creeks, something like that. I think Tim and I are going to lag behind by about half an hour so we're not just completely dusted out. And that will also allow us to ride, uh, like sweep, for the main group. This place is beautiful. There is not a single cloud in the sky. It got a little chilly last night. It was probably high 40s. Kickstands are up at 9 this morning. So we'll be able to get out and get riding before it gets hot, more importantly. And then uh, get back to camp and get out of the riding gear. And uh, I'm going to do some hiking today, I think. 
All right, after a small hiccup, because apparently the tracks that I have have been updated in the two months since I downloaded them. That's fun. We're back together. It's a good thing we're sweeping and not leading. <laughs> Ben's going to see my video later and go, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are these really the guys you want to <laughs> It's dry out here. At least we have a tiny bit of breeze, so it's blowing all the, the dust out of my way for the most part. Except for right here. Jeez. Couldn't see it all. Holy crap. I definitely am going to back off a little bit. Boy, you get that silk cloud and the sun shining through it. Woo wee. You can't see it all. Yeah, that lake is beautiful. That lake is great. All right, new favorite lake. Ba bump bump. How's your ride so far, gentlemen? Where's everybody else? Didn't want to wait. I think we're the we're the last group to leave. We have not, so we haven't passed that many people. Well, they turned off the main. No, they turned off. The turn off is right down there. That's that gotcha. Okay. Tim and I met up with a group that was still at the Three Creeks store, so we grouped up with them. Tim is in the lead, and we've got one, two, three, four people, and I am sweeping. We're going to continue on and see if we can catch up with the main group. Took a nice little rest break at Three Creeks Lake. The store was closed, so fortunately I had brought snacks with me. Getting into some poof. There's some ruts. Ooh wheel grabbers there side by sides coming through here and messing it up this is a fun little uh, section of the trail I like this it's been nice just enough rocks to keep your attention just enough silt to keep your attention other than that fairly flowy and you know I mean it seems like the road is blown out it's not it's actually for what it is it's actually in pretty great shape this is ideal time to be riding this too it's not too hot yet it is getting warm, but just enough breeze and airflow, and, you know, you stay pretty cool. Yeah, that's why it's so silty up here. They've been up here logging and doing forest cleanup. Freshly, freshly graded, coupled with a bunch of people starting to use it because it just opened. This, this stuff turns to moon dust. Not my favorite thing in the world to ride on. So once you get in it, you don't really want to stop. It's difficult to get going again. Not because you're going to dig in. Sometimes you do, but you're going slower on this stuff. Your front wheel wants to go everywhere, but straight. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I am doing the worst thing that you can possibly do, too, is slowing down. She would like some gravel about now. Technically, we're closer to hitting the bypass up there than anything else. And this looks more solid than that crap. Yeah. Silt, man. I hate that. At least this, this part of the route is more solid. And now we're dropping onto pavement. We're going to head into the bend to a place called Crux and hang out in the park underneath some shade and maybe get a beverage or nine and uh, no, just one. And then head back to camp before it gets super freaking hot. Did we just do like a big tour of bend? I swear, I think we're following Stevie Wonder. Bunch of dirt just fell off his bike. Oops, were we not supposed to do that? Back from the day's ride. Uh, really fun. I enjoyed myself quite a lot today. The rocky sections that are on section four, um, right out of Sisters, headed towards Bend. Fantastic riding. I love that type of rock riding. A lot of fun. Well done, Nathan, for finding that. And Bryce, I guess, well done on that too. The the two architects, I'm re referencing the two, the two main architects of the Oregon BDR. There's a lot of people put work into this, but those are the, the two lead architects, I guess, is what they're calling them. Fun ride today. And when we got to pavement, we just went into Bend and went to Crux and had a refreshment and came back. But on, on the way back, on the we took uh, Skyliner's bypass on the way back. And uh, once that got onto the pavement right in Sisters, soon as I got on that pavement, that heat was just wafting off of it. It was about 2.30. 
I just started feeling it just immediately. So I, I split from the group that I was with and came straight back to camp, tore off all my riding clothes and started dumping water on myself and rested for a little bit. And I'm, I'm all good now. It's like my doctor said, when it, when it comes on again, it'll happen fast. So I caught it today. So tomorrow the ride plan is I'm gonna go out and visit, uh, I think it's called Skylight Cave. And then I'm gonna ride up to the D Observatory and then come back to camp. That way I will be back in camp before the hot part of the day. I would have been completely fine today had I made it back to camp by noon, maybe one at the latest. Um, so I need to really watch that for a little while. Okay, we're at the bougiest tent in the campground right now, and I had to I had to do this. This this thing you can stand up in it. I don't know if you I have to actually zoom out on my camera to get the whole thing in. He has a bed in here inside of this tent. Don't hate, you can bro. fully you can fully stand up. What's this up? thing's like the Taj Mahal. Welcome to the Moto Camping edition of Cribs. Let me show you around. <laughs> Okay, here we have the uh, we have the light switch. It's actually a wire. Jesus, it's got a light switch. The double high queen bed. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a nightstand. Just joking, it's not. He had his daddy trailer right here. Whoa! No, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. One of the great things about this campground is there's a, uh, a natural cold spring here. And uh, this time of year, the um, it's spawning season for the beer. All right, we are off to the D Wright Observatory. First thing this morning, see if we can get some views that are still clear before the haze sets in. I've never been to the observatory, so we're right here. May as well go do it. It's only nine miles away. Got some smoke from some fires coming through. Holy sh All right, we need to stop here for a minute. I'm going to snap some pictures of that. That's cool. It looks like Mordor. I mean, it's it's desolate, but it's beautiful. That's way cooler than any pile of rocks has a right to be. Came right from there. Holy crap. I wonder how many um, lava tubes and caves are just hidden out there. Oh, there's got to be thousands. Man. The lava flow just keeps going and going. Now we're winding through it. This must have been a pain in the butt to build this road through here. Wowee. It's either that or when the lava flowed, it was nice enough just to not get the road, right? 1,500 years ago when the pavement was already here. Wow, potholes, Jesus. Narrow lanes too, wow. Frickin' cool, look at that. There it is. Oh, we gotta walk up to it. Lame. The expert section of the Oregon BDR is no joke. This, it, it was. I mean, look at that. That was. You definitely bring your water. That gets tough to ride over that stuff. Way to go, Nathan. Nice job. It's not even optional. You have to do that. Did you guys go down in there yet? Not yet. No. It's pretty neat down there. Yeah. So we're at the, uh, what's this place? D Wright? D Wright Observatory? D Wright Observatory. Yeah, D Wright Observatory up on top of this thing. It's made out of the volcanic rock that's here. And this whole lava flow was created by that. It's called the Belknap Crater. I assume it used to at one point be Belknap Mountain. But yeah, this is something else. Going up to uh, Skylight Cave, so I, I mean, I'm here, so I don't want to miss that. Damn, lost my momentum. Ugh. I can't see. We've got a cop in front of us. They're in a truck, so they have to drive a bit slower than we do. 
which isn't great for riding in silt. You kidding me? How the hell do I get around that? Skylight cave. Can you see me? Probably not very well. So how was your weekend? It was fabulous. Yeah? Thank you for asking. That's it's been really fun. It's a gripping conversation. That's about 10 feet from Duck Fan's cot. And that is where this campground gets its name. Away we go. Another camp out is just a memory. It happens fast. We just we just threw some of the last firewood on. Well, I say we like I actually helped. Take 40. So, whoa. Let's zoom that back out. Do a reach around? <laughs> yes. I thought that's what we were doing. We won't tell Tiffany. <laughs> tell her what? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Don't even. With your KTM bolt. Did it come off the shaft? It just, just the nut came loose, that's all. Oh, is it still there? Yeah. All right. It's right here. All right. Where do you work and what do you do for a living? <laughs> I plead the fifth. Good to go. I'm going to keep this in my pocket. <laughs> Good to go for another mile. <laughs>